The eye-to-eye headrest primarily consists of a sub-occipital support area. So a good way to begin fitting this is to move the client forward slightly and then back into the head support and bring the sub-occipital piece right up to that area of the skull. Once this is in position, each of these links can be tightened. If the client cannot maintain their head in this position or is extending during the adjustment, you can have someone else hold them in position. Once you've achieved the general position, it's important to feel and ensure that this is contacting the sub-occipital area, that there's no pressure on the ears. Ear cutouts can be ordered with this as well, and that the client's head is aligned. It looks here as if the client might be pushed just a little bit forward. So let's move this back just a little bit. And we see that we have a little more neutral presentation. These anterior supports here can be adjusted to be close to the body or further away. They can be shortened depending on how much support is needed here. These also help encourage the head to remain midline and to prevent the head from hooking underneath the headrest. When it is time to remove this, there is a version in which these side pads will swing to the side to help with transfers. This does flip over the client's head by pulling the client forward slightly while moving the headrest back. We can easily position this onto the client.